So recently I've been thinking about the fact that there are a lot of cameras these days that have very high resolution and can render a lot of detail. But with that sharpness, sometimes comes a stark and soulless image. When I got my first video DSLR, because the image was naturally soft, the struggle was to find the sharpest lens and never put any filter in front of it unless I really needed to. And when I did, I wanted the filter that would reduce the sharpness the least. Fast forward to 2022, and I have cameras that create very sharp images and lenses that do the same. My tendency now is to dirty up the image with diffusion filters and using lower quality lenses to give the images more character. You see this in plenty of movies as well. Cinematographers will shoot on modern cameras and use older, technically imperfect lenses to create a look in the film. So these days there's a lot of cameras out there that can produce really sharp and detailed 4K, 6K, heck even 12K video. But sometimes having the most insanely sharp looking image isn't necessarily what everybody's going for. There are cameras like the EM1 Mark II or the Panasonic GX85 for example that don't have optical low pass filters and so they can actually benefit from lenses that can help mitigate the super sharp look of those sensors. So in this video, I kind of just wanted to show you some sequences that I shot with some pretty cheap and technically imperfect lenses. One of them was a really cheap $30 C-mount lens. It was a 35 millimeter F1.6. But after buying it, I quickly returned it because I realized that it wouldn't focus to infinity. But another lens that I'll be using is one that I can definitely recommend, which is the Seven Artisans 25 millimeter F1.8. But before we get into that, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people. Whether it's photography, video, design, Skillshare has thousands of inspiring classes that'll help you gain more knowledge on whatever subject you're interested in. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so you'll never have to deal with any annoying ads. So one Skillshare class I wanna recommend you check out is Creative Filmmaking, Crafting Your Vision for Music Videos with Isaiah Surrett. So one thing that I've really been wanting to learn how to do better is create treatments for video projects. And that's exactly what Isaiah teaches in this class. So whether you want to pitch for a music video, commercials, or short films, in this class you'll learn how to find inspiration and put your ideas into a treatment that can convey how you want your films to look and feel. The really cool thing is that the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description below are gonna get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So I would highly recommend go down in the description, click that link to get a one month free trial and learn something new. Once again, big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So this video isn't really about any lens in particular, but more just the idea of using cheaper or older glass intentionally to create a certain look to your videos. Don't get me wrong, I do love the sharp modern glass that I have, but adding a little bit of texture and character into your image by using imperfect lenses is something that I think a lot of cameras can benefit from. The Seven Artisans 25 millimeter F1.8 is a perfect example of a cheap lens that has vintage characteristics. So vintage lenses or these cheap lenses that you can get on eBay and Amazon are not necessarily what I'm gonna bring with me on a paid shoot, but if you're willing to work with them a little bit, make sure that you nail your manual focus and maybe block out some of the light that's gonna hit them because these lenses are known to flare, then you can actually get some really nice looking images out of them. So this Seven Artisans lens is one that I recommend a lot. And one of the reasons is because it has a really close focusing distance, like almost macro close. And it can render the background pretty uniquely, kind of like how the Helios 44-2 is with that almost circular bokeh. And the, the coolest thing is, is that this lens is only like 60 bucks on Amazon and eBay. But anyways, I think that's all I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, it'd be really cool if you hit the like button. And if you'd like to watch some more of my videos, you can click on either side of my face. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Later.